Hello, good morning, happy Thursday. It is Thursday, September 19th, 2019. I'm Lindsay Duff, and this is Responsible Day Trading. Uh, I haven't traded in almost two weeks. I have been working on updating my curriculum. I thought it was gonna move a lot faster than it is. I'm probably about four out of 20 videos in, but I'm gonna keep working every day to rebuild those and uh, put new ones on. I just needed a break from it today and I miss y'all, so I wanted to come trade. I have kept an eye on it the last few days simply because I am needing to use my charts for examples. So uh, I have looked at it and holy moly, it's ugly. It's been ugly. It looks like today, so far, we've got some all right movement. So, you know, we're going to think positive. We're going to, I woke up like this. And, you know, someone said on here the other day, and I meant to reply, I'm sorry that I haven't, that my skin looked shinier. And I appreciate that because... Um, I'm going to share something with y'all that I haven't even shared with a lot of my family because it's something I've kept hidden for quite some time. Um, and I kept it hidden mainly because of shame. But I am 47 days into being a non-smoker. Uh, I smoked cigarettes on and off since I was 12 years old. Uh, I quit during both of my pregnancies, but besides that, the longest quit I ever had was maybe a week. I decided it was time. So thank you for noticing because my skin is looking better. Feeling pretty good about that. Having some plantar fasciitis issues. I had a hard time going to bed early last night. Uh, I'm getting up by 5 a.m. to work out and I couldn't fall asleep till close to 11. So we're gonna watch and see what happens today. And if it's something great, that'll be wonderful. If not, you know, we're just gonna move on with the day. So let's go ahead. Oh, before I do that, uh, students, the first section will be done by the end of this weekend. I think it's gonna probably take me about a week to do each section. So the first section will be updated. So next week by Monday, I expect you to be able to go back through it. There's a few things that I've eliminated. There's a few things I've added. I've updated all the PDFs and uh, created new videos. So, you know, with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the market. Okay, let's start off with that daily chart. Okay, wow. Look at how much this is pushed up. This is actually a really, really good sign of movement to the upside. I am seeing reasons for long, but I'm also seeing reasons for short, so the longs might be short-lived. And there's no way to get into this one right now. moving this up just little by little there's no reason in having more risk on it as we're reaching this last little high pivot it is showing reasons to continue up now's where I'm gonna move it to the break even Reversal bar at the area. I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, I'm gonna close this out. We're getting a reversal bar potential. This may keep going out. This may pull back here and push up. All right, I'm giving it a shot here, y'all. I want to be behind this little spot. I'd really like to be back behind here and I have my finger over a close button. I think I waited long enough on this one.
moving this up to a break even as it's pulling up here and touching that two point mark. Oh my goodness, take it out. <sighs> it hasn't taken it, but it definitely should. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Leading lower here, um, seeing the double bar potential, leading lower here on the way down. And that's gonna be it, y'all. Let's see what we did here. I'm gonna pull this up. All right, let's watch this together. Nine points, two trades. This could still go up from here, but I'm not willing to give it any more. True trades plus nine points. All right, guys and gals, <laughs> uh, that's going to wrap it up for me. Um, man, just looking at that 610, yeah, this is probably going to keep going up, but it's going to go up without me. I've missed it. I had to just come back for a little bit and say hello to the market. And uh, I moved some stuff around on my desk. So normally my second screen is actually much lower and it's on my bedside table. I'm trying to minimize my space. So now I have it sitting on the table right next to my bigger screen. And uh, I actually really like it. It has everything right next to each other. And I just feel pretty confident with it. Um, let me talk to you a little bit about the curriculum. Uh, I'm updating all the PDFs. Well, I didn't in one of them because the examples were still pretty good. It is taking me a lot longer than I really thought this was going to. I thought this was going to be just boom, 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 lickety split. I've already made these videos. I can do them again. I want to see responsible day trading growth, but as responsible day trading is growing, so am I. And things have changed. At one point, I used five charts. If you go back to my old, old videos, you'll see that I have five charts on there instead of just three. So taking it down to three has really minimized the noise and it's been able to give me a little bit more clarity that's a good thing so if you have any questions i'm always available i will definitely be back next week it's probably going to be a little bit here and there just like this because i'm still going to be working on those videos i need i got a lot to do like i said a lot more than i thought i did and that's okay because that just means better quality for you it gets my mind in the right space i know with confidence that my program is something that uh, can help people and that I feel confident in it getting out there and into other people's hands but as you you it's like my daughter when she paints and she looks at the stuff that she made when she started and she goes oh this is just so horrible and I'm like no it's not it's wonderful it's just your stair steps that you took to get to where you are now and I'm trying to make that flight of steps much shorter for people than it was for me. So if I can create new material that's even better than it was before, then hey, if it takes time, it takes time. So, but guys, that's gonna wrap it up. I, that's, those are my favorite last words. Wrap, wrap, wrap it up. <laughs> so I hope everybody has a wonderful Thursday. Stay dry out there if you're in the Houston area and uh, you need to escape. Hit me up. I got some space. So uh, I hope everybody has a great day. And as always, I look forward to catching you on the profitable side.